Hello and welcome to Art Swarm episode 7. Art Swarm is an arts video program where we invite artists to create new original video and audio artwork and I showcase it to the world. Everything you see on Art Swarm is a world premiere. It's made specifically for the show generally, which is what makes it exciting. It's all new stuff. This week's theme is being and we're going to begin with an animation by Lavinia Murray which tells a very interesting story. It's very moody and atmospheric as you may expect and it contrasts elements of earthiness, soil and clay and water and death and combines that, transforms that into elements of lightness and air and rebirth. And now on our being themed show, a poem by Stephen Pennell, which is about the gradual decay of existence. You wiped away my tears, cleaned the cuts upon my knee, and now dementia's taken all your memories of me. You nursed me when I was poorly, fed and clothed me every day, but now you can't remember my name as dementia's taken it away. You taught me how to love and care, how to be the best I, that I can be, just can't remember doing this as dementia's taken it away. But do I love you any less, my mum? Could I hold you any closer to my heart? Not a chance, you'll hear me say. I just sit beside your bedside, hold your hand and sit and pray that me being here brings you comfort in some tiny way. 
Now, to be or not to be is one of the most famous sayings in English. This next video by Deborah Edgeley highlights elements of Hamlet and it has a ghost-like quality to the video itself. Look, my lord, it comes. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. Be thou a spirit of health or goblin damned. Bring with thee airs from heaven or blast from hell. Be thy intents wicked or charitable. Thou comest in such a questionable shape that I will speak to thee. I'll call thee Hamlet, King, Father, Royal Day. Oh, answer me! Let me not burst in ignorance, but tell why thy canonized bones, hersed in death, have burst their sacraments. Why the sepulcher sacraments? By the sepulchre wherein we saw three, thee, quietly interred, hath opened his ponderous and marble jaws to cast thee up again. What may this mean that thou, dead corse, again in complete steel, revisits thus glimpses of the moon, making night hideous, we fools of nature so hurriedly to shake our disposition, the thoughts beyond the reaches of our souls. Say, why is this? Wherefore, what shall we do? The ghost beckons him. And next, on our being-themed show, we have a piece by Andrew Williams. Uh, it's the first of two pieces by Andrew. Being and Becoming is an evocative music piece which uses nature themes and asks the question, what is it? like to be. What does it mean to be? 
all it is must change. We live, and then we die. All it is must change. And now on Art Swarm, a poem by Ian Parr, which he introduces. Being the title of this programme, and that of course is the present participle of the verb to be, and the first person singular of that verb in the present tense is I am. And this poem is called Yet what I am. It's one of two poems that I wrote uh, that found their way into the Chester Poets anthology on 19th century writers. And in this case, the two poems were about the poet John Clare, who lived between 1793 and 1864. He was a farm labourer um, and a very prolific poet who eventually died in a lunatic asylum in Northamptonshire. So this poem is called What Yet What I Am and it draws from uh, the first stanza of a poem that he wrote quite late in life which goes I am yet what I am none cares or knows my friends forsake me like a memory lost I am the self-consumer of my woes. They rise and vanish in oblivion's host like shadows in love's frenzied stifled throes. And yet I am and live like vapours tossed. So those are some of the lines uh, from the start. I've borrowed one or two others uh, phrases within this poem. You try to imagine a time when reaching for literacy fought with subsistence for family, words and bread in conflict. By his words we know him, see into his harrowed mind, peace found in harmony with all around him in those days before we discovered analysis. His war with himself, Inadequacy in life tore apart his sanity, and from seas of waking dreams he proved death alone is freedom for evermore. Therefore his gift was a gift to all, simplicity drawn out of pain, observations he surrounded, tortured, being in his beauty. And now we continue our being themed art swarm with a fun submission by Andrew Williams. It's the second of his two pieces and in his earlier one he asked what does it mean to be? In this one he answers it with the following. Who we are? Why are we here? What is the purpose of being? I have asked these questions many times, and I believe I have found an answer. To be is to live, and to live is to dance. Is to dance, to dance.
is to live, and to live is to dance. To be is to live, and to live is to dance. And now on Art Swarm, our shortest ever submission so far. This is a 15 second video of a painting by artist Janie Jones. Janie describes herself as a spiritual artist, and this painting depicts one of her lucid dream visions. And we end our being themed show with my submission. I considered the word being and what does that mean? And I thought it could mean to be like a bee, act like a bee. A bee is constantly being. And it's the height of summer here in Arts Warm Towers. So I thought I was observing the bees and thinking, when do they have time off? Do they have time off? They constantly work in endless toil. And I often felt the same way. So I made something all about that. Where do bees go when they get old? Too tired to work, too weak to fly. Or seek new flowers and fresh blue sky. Where do bees go when their joints are worn down, sanded soft by the hard trawl between fields and colleges, every long week in hot syrup?
On the last day we face a morning glow And leave past the petals and flower Over the blooms that sag in summer's heat Over the meadow's sweet scent Over the streets of the swarming city Over the sleeping cats Over the shifting sand over the sea, away and up to the white sun of honey fire. Well, that's it for episode seven of Art Swarm and our theme of being. I think you'll agree it's been a very eclectic mix, a whole range of videos in this week's show. Thank you to everyone who has submitted. My name is Mark Sheeky, and if you'd like to connect with Art Swarm, visit Twitter at Art Swarm TV, or you can send me a video by visiting the Art Swarm page on MarkSheeky.com. In the meantime, Keep watching, keep listening, and do enjoy. Next week's theme, or next fortnight's theme, is fairies. So if you have anything on the theme of fairies, then do send it. In the meantime, keep being...